What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody who's watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get this over a hundred thousand likes. <laughs> One hundred thousand. Real quick before I get into it, I'm going to make this a quick video because I just realized as I was hitting record that the battery is almost dead. So I'm going to get straight to the point in this video. Real quick, I just want to remind you guys, today, Friday, is the final day all the way up until midnight. It's the final day to get that deal on season-long MLB and NFL included. OK, as you guys know, if you've been if you're watching right now and you've been following me since the beginning, the reason that the DFS squad has became what it is and the reason my videos have became what they are and we're running this shit is because of how successful we did in NFL. I used to post my full videos in the lineups when I first started with NFL and literally every week of the NFL season, we absolutely dominated. There were people sending me. Uh, photos of winning over a thousand with the lineup I posted on my YouTube videos like there was people who were winning a shit ton of money So do not miss out on joining the squad because I you know as you know I don't fill entire lineups in the videos anymore. I just can't do it because I'm being watched All right, but you can still join the squad and get this money with us All right NFL is gonna be a whole separate thing when NFL starts and you're not gonna want to pay separate every single day it's just worth it to go ahead and get ml mlb is a taxing season too because it's one of those seasons where you really have to put in the more work you put in the better you do the more money you make okay there's a lot of people out there who act like they have a special thing going to make it so you cash every day or make it so you win a whole lot of money every single day it's just not possible Unless they're telling you to play 150 different variations. That's the only that's the only secret to winning every single night. A lot of money is by playing like 150 variations and becoming a shark. The Just like in life, the more work you put into something, the more you get out of it. And that's the same way DFS is. The more work you put in, the more you get out. Now, I put all that work in. You guys can go to your jobs and do your thing. Join the squad. Go to greenlightdfs.com. You can join the season-long deal there now. It doesn't say that NFL is included, but it is, okay? Until tonight, Friday night, okay? You guys have until Friday night at midnight. I guess that's Saturday morning, but you have until then to join that season-long deal or it is gone, okay? That is it. I'm not bringing it back this time. I brought it back this last time just because people were still asking me, but that it will not be back anymore. OK, we make way too much money in NFL for me to be giving such a discounted price on how much money we're going to be making. OK, so get on that, guys. Let's get straight into the high five, man. I'm hype about it, but I got to zoom through it. All right. First picture that I'm going to go with Corey Kluber. He's just he's just the best option on this board here. He's going against a White Sox team that we just saw what Odorizzi did. I'm not sure. I know I'm saying his name wrong. I always get it wrong, and it's not clicking in my head how to say it, but you know who I'm talking about, Jake, all right? We saw what he did against White Sox. He did very well for a while. He gave up some runs at the end there, but he got a good amount. Of, I believe he got eight strikeouts. If if he, if he Jake can get eight strikeouts, Kluber's definitely got that 10-plus potential here. Uh, uh, Jake got 20-plus DraftKings points against them. I see Corey Kluber getting about 30 to 35, if not more than that. Okay, so Corey is the best option on this slate. He is locked in the high five at 12-6. Next pitcher that I absolutely love, and I have to apologize because the last time I talked about this guy, I made fun of his name saying that he sucked because his last name was Peacock. Anybody by the name of Peacock sucks. I'm very sorry, and I have to apologize. He watched that video, and he was like, you know what? Fuck you, Cam. I'm going to go out here and start dominating. This dude's been pitching ever since he became a starter, all right? He was always a relief. When he became a starter, and he's been getting consistent minutes. I mean, not minutes. I'm thinking it's basketball. Consistent innings, all right? He has been very, very, very solid. Very good strikeout upside. He has been absolutely dominant. And he's been uh, just 
never mind. And he is in Houston, which is very, very pitcher friendly. I love Brad Peacock, and I love Houston to get the win here against Shoemaker, which is why I am picking him as well. Both of our pitchers are at home. Corey, Klu- Corey Kluber is just, it's obvious why I'm going him. He is an absolute monster. And Peacock is one of my favorite on the slate as well at 7-9. I think that is a discount for the way he's been pitching. He's been absolutely doing amazing. He belongs a little over 8,000. I will take him at 7-9. I absolutely love him in the pitcher-friendly park of Houston. And Houston has just been so good offensively that he's going to get the W too. All right? So I absolutely love Peacock to get eight plus strikeouts, six innings, and get that W. He's going to have a fantastic game, guys. First batter I want to go to, and this is my most costly batter I'm going with, and that's Jose Altuve. He has absolutely been crushing the ball this year. He's been doing absolutely amazing. He gets on base nearly every time he goes to bat. This guy's got great upside. He's quick, so when he's on the bases, he can move around them bases super quick, get some steals. I absolutely love Jose Altuve at home in Houston going against Shoemaker. He has gotten 10 hits at 26 at-bats, three home runs, and a 385 average. All right, the fact he has three home runs against him and Altuve isn't known to be a home run guy, the fact he's got three home runs against him is a very good thing. And I also believe he has only been struck out one time by him in his career. All right, out of all those at bats. So I absolutely love Altuve, man. I definitely expect him to get on base multiple times here in Houston and give our boy Peacock some run support. All right, now going to the outfield. I've got a few cheaper guys that we got to go with because you know we're, we're paying up for our pitchers. Lonnie Chisholm is my favorite play of the day here, man. He always starts versus righties. Well, majority of the time he'll start versus righties. Maybe he's sick sometimes, so he doesn't. But majority of the times he starts against righties, and he gets the pleasure of going against Gonzalez, who has been giving up a lot of hard contact, a lot of home runs. This guy has been getting shelled, okay? I absolutely love Lonnie Chisholm. He's got awesome power through his career against Gonzalez. He's in a perfect position already, but through his career, his BVP, 13 at bat, six hits, one home run, and a 462 batting average. I love Lonnie Chisholm at 4,000. I will take it, and I'm very happy with it. Now, an offense that I always target when they are at home, and I got to go with the cheaper option of all of them, Gregor Blanco. This guy's got some good upside for a guy that's only 3,400, and he leads off for an offense that is absolutely dominant at home in Arizona. They are not going against a great pitcher here. Davies has his moments. He's had a few moments throughout the year, literally like two moments where he actually was good. In Arizona, where it's hot and very hitter-friendly, Davies has no shot whatsoever, and there are a lot of Arizona batters that have hit very well against him. I love stacking this Arizona offense, as always. Gregor Blanco always starts leadoff against right-handed. I absolutely love Gregor Blanco, the lefty. Um, He's gone against him one time in his career, okay? And that was about a month ago he went against him. He got like 22 DraftKings points. Out of the three at-bats he was at-bat, he got three hits, one home run, and a perfect batting average. Gregor Blanco is an awesome, awesome option at only 3,400. I absolutely love him, and he rounds out the high five and just makes me super confident and happy with it, man. So that's it. Corey Kluber. Oh, shit. My bad. Corey Kluber, Brad Peacock, Jose Altuve, Lonnie Chisholm, and Gregor Blanco. Okay. That is the high five, guys. You know what time it is. Time for the batting, uh, whatever I call it. Fucking, I'm forgetting it. I'm brainwashing. <laughs> but you guys know what time it is, man. So get out your pen, your pencils, and I am going to give you guys. Oh, it's the batter's box. There we go. I just remembered. Okay, I'm going to give you guys the, the best batters to go with, okay? All of these guys, the, these are not small sample size. All of them are 10 or more at bats, okay? So these are very solid uh ratios here for the BVP okay now to start off Jonathan Lucroy Anthony Rendon Hanley Ramirez Pablo Sandoval Michael Brantley Chisenhall Encarnacion Carlos Santana I love the Cleveland stack against Miguel Gonzalez that might be my favorite stack of the day here with Cleveland at home going against a pitcher that's been giving up a shit of hard contact, all right? A lot of fly ball. He gives up a lot of fly balls, and those turn into home runs. 
All right, Cleveland is a hitter-friendly ballpark. I love Cleveland stat. Jose Abreu has done solid against Kluber. Uh, you got Jed Lowry, Matt Kemp, Astro Ball Cabrera, Lucas Duda, Brett Gardner, Jose Altuve, our high five boy, Jake Marisnik. Uh, I like him a lot too. Albert Pujols and Denard Span. I love Span here. All right, he's lefty going against righty, and he has a good history against Irvin Santana. Now, you got to keep in mind though, okay? This is throughout his career. All right, his speed has significantly dropped. He's not as quick. He doesn't steal bases like that anymore, and his power has dropped off. But he all, he definitely puts the bat on the ball against Santana. Out of the 36 times he's seen Santana, he has 14 hits, one home run, and a 389 batting average, and he's fairly cheap, okay? And he leads off, all right? Those are two pluses, all right? There it is, guys. That's the batter's box. Good luck, everybody. I hope you kill it. Don't forget to join the season-long membership, greenlightdfs.com. Come, don't forget it, man. I'm mainly bringing this up to you guys because I won't be bringing it up again. And I know NFL is coming up. And trust me, you want to be a part of this. All right? DFS squad is what it is because of our NFL success. All right? NFL, I know NFL more than I know myself. All right? Trust me. Hop on. I got you. All right? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you kill it. Run this high five. Put some other little value guys around. Go watch my boy Von Harris. See what he's talking about. And let's get this money, guys. I'm out. Like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm gone.